Hey guys, Icon here from Voxbia Music. In this video, we're going to use Doubler's vowel MIDI mapping controls to mix between different layers of a sound. In the first example, we'll use chords to launch a pad, arp, polysynth, and Rhodes patch, while in the second, we'll mix between different layers of a bass sound while also modulating some effects. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Our pad patch is comprised of four different individual sounds, I'll play them all one by one now. What we've done is we've layered all of them in an instrument rack in Ableton. You can create a new instrument rack by creating a new MIDI track, coming to instruments and dragging the instrument rack over. And now all the synths and plugins you drag in here in this chain area here, which is opened here with these three lines, you can keep dragging in different plugins and different Ableton instruments and layering and building up your own instruments. And you can also save these to have layered sounds that you can get access right away. The idea here is mapping the volume of each layer to a vowel in Doubler. As you can see, as I'm speaking right now, because Doubler is right next to me, it's picking up all the different vowels and the volume keeps changing here. The plugins we use are Predator by Rob Papen for the pad, Phase Plant by Kilohertz for this nylon texture. Synthmaster's LD Density preset for the ARP using Ableton's Arpeggiator. And also Lounge Lizard, which is one of our favorite Rhodes plugins for the Rhodes sound. And we've also used a delay here. The reason we're using delay is because there's lots of fast modulation going on here and we don't want a sound to immediately cut off when we change vowels. Because there's a delay, it will continue to resonate and float into the air even if we're not using its vowel and so the layer doesn't disappear immediately. And we've also cut the lows with an EQ8 just to avoid lots of low frequency buildup because there are lots of layers here and lots of low end could make everything sound muddy. Another important point is that we have our MIDI set to only receive MIDI from our keyboard. If we had all in selected or doubler selected, because we're in pitch mode in doubler, it would also pick up the notes we're singing. But we only want the modulation with the vowels to come through, not the note we're singing with the voice. The concept here is using doubler as an extra limb almost. With a different MIDI controller, you'd be using one hand to play the keyboard and one hand to twist a knob mapped to these parameters, for example. But we're using two hands with the keyboard. It's really cool to have this extra way to keep modulating even when we're using both hands to play the piano. So now into doubler. Our settings are pretty simple. We've just enabled controls. You can disable triggers. Scale doesn't matter because again, we're only after this area here, what the vowels are doing. So come to effects and you'll notice all of the vowels are unlocked so we can use them. And the CC numbers here, 20, 21, 22. These are the default numbers when you open doubler. This is going to be important in a bit when we look at our next sound. But for now, just to recap MIDI mapping to vowels, all you do is hit Control or Command M. You choose the parameter. In this case, we chose our volumes here in the instrument rack. So the mix of the layers, basically. Click on one of them and then click Map in Doubler and it maps. And here in Ableton, again, when you click Command M, you get to see your list of modulations and you can set limits. As you can see, we've set very small limits because we don't want big jumps in the layers. We don't want 
a pad to come in and instantly disappear. So we've set, for example, the pad to between minus four and plus four. We've set the polysynth to between minus 16 and four. And you can edit all of these to taste until you find a balance that you like. The key is to avoid drastic changes in the general volume. So you always want to try and keep a balance of volume even when you're changing layers. Here's how the pad sounds in solo with this automation. We map the O to the ARP, the A to the pad, and the E to the polysynth. So let me stress the E, for example. Now A. And O for the ARPs. And we didn't map one of the sounds, which is the roads. It's good to keep one of them unmapped, again, for that point about keeping the general volume steady. You want one sound that's always there, keeping the foundation of the chord progression. For the bass, we use two layers. The first is this analog FM preset from Phase Plant. We also really like the decay of this, so we mapped that to a macro here in this instrument. So that's a cool one to modulate with vowels too. And we also added another layer, this bass, bass, bass preset in Ableton. Here's how that sounds. We also mapped its filter cutoff to a macro here so we can easier map it to the doubler. And we also added some waves R bass to add some sub to the general sound. In doubler for this, what we did was we switched to another profile. And the reason is the MIDI CC numbers. As you can see here in our second profile, we've raised the CC numbers to 24, 25, 26. This is because if we left them the same as in our previous profile, while we were messing with the vowel mappings for the bass, then our chord pad instruments would also get affected, but we want to keep them separate. So it's useful to switch between profiles while using vowel control in multiple instruments in a session. We map the filter cutoff of the second layer and the decay from within phase plant of the first layer. Here's how this sounds. When we stress the A, the decay increases, when we stress the E, the filter cutoff increases, and when we stress U, because nothing's mapped to the U, both the A and E values go down. So that's also useful, even though we haven't mapped anything to the O, it's still useful to be able to take bring down the E and the A both at once. So that's something to keep in mind. Thanks for watching. If you have any examples or videos using doublers, vowels to mix between layers, please send them over. We'd love to check it out. And also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. For more information about doubler, head to voclia.com and subscribe for more videos. See you soon.